Net, pad is clear. Ten, nine, eight, Launch auto sequence seven, has started. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Go for launch. Vehicle is supersonic. Stage separation confirmed. Dragon, separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lakes have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engine full power and lift off of TRS 26. Go Falcon and happy Thanksgiving, ISS. That's right, lift off of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket for the 26th cargo resupply mission, bringing new science experiments and solar arrays to the International Space Station. CRS-26 on its way to the International Space Station. We are throttling down the engines on the first stage. And this helps us prepare for max Q, which is maximum dynamic pressure. It's the largest structural load that the vehicle sees on ascent. And we should be passing through that period. Should be passing through that period in a few seconds here. that we passed through max Q. Great views there of Falcon 9 carrying NASA's CRS-26 mission. We are coming up on a few events happening back to back. That's going to be MECO or main engine cutoff as the first event. That's where all nine of the M1D engines shut down on that first stage. All nine of those engines that you see lit up on your screen there. And that's in preparation for the next event, which is stage separation. That's where the first and second stage separate. The first stage will flip around and make its way back down to Earth and land on our drone ship named Just Read the Instructions, while the second stage ignites its Merlin MVAC engine to boost Dragon to low Earth orbit during SES-1, or second stage engine start one. And the last event is the boost back burn to reduce, the velocity of, to reduce the velocity of the first stage in preparation for atmospheric re-entry. And that whole sequence takes about 30 seconds and we are coming up on those few events happening here in a few seconds. And Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Stage two ignition. Some really cool views there. We had Miko, stage separation, the MVAC engine lighting up on your right hand screen. We also saw the first stage doing a flip and stage one boost back startup. And now in its boost back burn. Now that burn lasts about 30 seconds long. Stage one boost back shut down. And there's that call out and the boost back burn has shut down on the first stage. That's a view of the first stage there on your right hand screen, a view from the second stage looking at our MVAC engine. And you can see on your screen, on your left hand screen, the grid fins are deploying on that first stage.
very cool views. You're watching a live webcast for the 26th commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station for NASA. This is SpaceX's 54th mission for 2022 and the fifth Dragon flight for, to the International Space Station just this year. Now we lifted off just about four minutes ago from Kennedy Space Center at Launch Complex 39A. So far, both vehicles on nominal trajectories. Again, on your left-hand screen is a view from the first stage. On your right-hand screen, an awesome view of the second stage MVAC engine with the Earth in the background. For the first stage, in order to make its way back to our drone ship, again, just read the instructions. It has a couple more burns to execute. The first is the entry burn. That's where three of the Merlin engines reignite. This helps to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper parts of the Earth. Great call outs there. This entry burn helps to slow the vehicle down as it re enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. Now, the second burn is the final burn for the first stage. It is called the landing burn. And this is a single engine burn that brings the vehicle's speed down rapidly in order to touch down on the drone ship. Now you may see some bursts of gas on your left-hand screen. That is nitrogen gas burst for attitude control. And then again, you could see the grid fins. You could see two of the four grid fins on the first stage. These are hypersonic grid fins positioned near the top of the first stage. So once it's in the atmosphere, stage one only uses the grid fins to steer as it makes its way back down to Earth. Stage one. Now they orient the, the rocket. Seat. They orient the rocket during re-entry and guide the rocket. Stage one entry burn descent. startup. All right, that call out. Now you can see on your left hand screen the entry burn has begun stage on the one first entry stage. Burn shut down. And there you can see those engines shut down. That concludes the entry burn for the first stage. Now, next up, we do have SECO-1 on the second stage. That's where the Merlin vacuum Major engine will guidance. shut down. SECO. And there we heard the call out for SECO and watch as that NVAC engine Nominal shut down. Cushion. And great call out there. That means we have confirmation of a good orbit for the second stage still carrying the Dragon vehicle. About 20 seconds away from that landing burn stage beginning on the first stage. Again, this is a single engine, the center E9 engine burn to help slow the vehicle down just enough to touch down on the drone ship. Stage one landing just burn. Just read the instructions today. And you can see that the landing burn has begun on the first stage. Let's watch as Falcon 9 touches down on Just Read the Instructions. Landing like deploy. Really awesome Stage views there. Confirmed. Falcon 9 has touched down, as you can see it standing tall on just read the, read the instructions there on your screen. Now, while this Falcon 9 just completed its first flight, it marks the 153rd successful landing for an orbital class rocket. 
Now we are T plus nine minutes into the mission. Coming up on the last major task for our stage two, commanding separation of Dragon a couple minutes from now. Now we expect to have live video of, Fal of Dragon separation from the top of the Falcon 9 second stage, which looks into the trunk of the Dragon vehicle. CRS-26 will be joining the Crew-5 vehicle currently on orbit, so we'll be back to having two Dragon spacecraft docked at the space station. This is the 26th commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station for NASA. This is SpaceX's 54th mission this year and fifth Dragon flight to station for 2022. And we lifted off just under 12 minutes ago from Kennedy Space Center at Launch Complex 39A. And we are just a few seconds away from Dragon's separation from Falcon 9's second stage. You are looking at a live view into the trunk of the Dragon vehicle. Dragon separation confirmed. Dragon separation and confirmed. And as you can see, as you can see there on your screen and hearing those callouts as well, Dragon is drifting away from Falcon 9's second stage. Incredible view there. The next milestone coming up is the nose cone opening sequence. This protects the docking ring and navigation sensors. And that's going to do it for me here in Hawthorne. So I'm going to send it over to Sandra in Houston. How's it going over there, Sandra? Hey, thanks, Jesse. Beautiful launch, as always. Great to see that. And of course, welcome back into the International Space Station Flight Control Room here in Texas. And we are beginning to get a view as the nose cone does open. Prior to this, each of the six hooks opened up, and now we are continuing to get these views as the nose cone opens. Once open, the nose cone, the dragon, the dragon docking hardware will be exposed, and the nose cone will remain open throughout the remainder of the flight. Continuing to get views of the nose cone opening. And nose cone deploy complete. Everything looking great on Dragon so far. That's going to wrap up our launch coverage for the 26th Commercial Resupply Services mission from both NASA and SpaceX. Dragon is on its way to dock to the International Space Station tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Thank you again for joining us, and we'll leave you with a replay of today's launch. Until next time, go NASA, go SpaceX, and go CRS-26.